Discussions help students critically think and develop their understanding of the ideas and concepts presented in class. They are also effective as formative or summative assessment for instruction. To create a discussion, in the course navigation menu on the left, click the discussion link. Here you will see a list of any discussions you have created or imported. If you are just starting, the area will be blank. At the top of the middle section, click the Start a Discussion button. Enter your topic title, then type in the instructions for the discussion. Make sure you're clear about what the student's response should include, the length, and any requirements you want for students to respond to other students' posts. Select the options you would like for delaying posts, adding attachments, or more. Click the Save button below when complete. One option that's very useful is the User Must Post Before Seeing Replies checkbox. When checked, a student will not see any other student's post or replies on the topic until they have posted themselves. This helps ensure each student is creating their own unique reply. If you'd like to use the discussion as a graded assignment, check the Use for Grading checkbox. Enter the points possible, then select the assignment group and due date. Click Save when complete. Like announcements, you can lock or delete a discussion from the discussion list, individually or in bulk. Select the discussion or discussions you would like to change. Then click the lock icon to lock out replies or the trash can icon to delete. To edit the discussion, click the discussion link in the discussion list. In the top of the middle section, Click the sprocket icon, then click Edit. There are also additional assignment details you can control in the Assignment Settings or the Assignment Details. These will be covered in a later tutorial.